Hurricane Barrel, which originated in the Caribbean Sea, approached the coast of the United States at local time. In Matagorda, Texas, the wind speed was 138 km per hour. As a result of the hurricane, torrential rain, thunderstorm and strong wind prevailed in the region. One person died as a result of a falling tree during the hurricane. More than 2 million people were left without electricity in the region. According to the information released by the National Hurricane Center, the hurricane, which caused devastating damage along the coast, is moving inland. Texas state and local officials warned it could take several days to restore power after Barrel came ashore as a Category 1 hurricane and toppled 10 transmission lines and knocked down trees that took down power lines. Barrel later weakened into a tropical storm and then a tropical depression, far less powerful than the Category 5 behemoth that tore a deadly path of destruction through parts of Mexico and the Caribbean last weekend. But the winds and rains of the fast-moving storm were still powerful enough to knock down hundreds of trees that had already been teetering in water-saturated earth, and strand dozens of cars on flooded roadways. Despite breaking up and losing force, the front was still threatening to flood areas of eastern Texas, western Louisiana and Arkansas overnight, the hurricane center said. Several tornadoes were also possible in those areas, it said.